I'm Judy Pruitt, and I work in respiratory care as the equipment technici technician, and I've been doing that for 23 years. The easiest way to do that when you're doing it cold turkey is to um, think of it each day as a um, hurrah and to look at it day by day by day because then it turns into weeks and months and years. So you're not so disappointed, you know, if you're looking at it day by day and struggling with it, you know. But every day that goes by, it becomes less and less that you have that urge that you need and want a cigarette. Well, luckily I was the pitcher, which I had played softball for probably over 20 years and was always in that position. But yet, you know, you still have to hit that ball at some time or another. And um, I have to say that I was a pretty fast runner, but I could definitely tell uh, after I had quit smoking, and it doesn't come maybe in a year or it doesn't come all uh, that effect of healthiness in two years, but gradually you do realize what it is today that you can do much better than you did when you were a smoker. I am so happy today that I am an ex-smoker. I don't like to uh, tear people down, you know. I, I just try to tell them the benefits of being an ex-smoker and what it's done for me. And the, um, the biggest thing, you know, is the, the not having a short of breath, which can turn into COPD and asthma and emphysema and, and um, all types of things like that. My advice is to um, mentally be prepared before you actually do it. If you have to set a date for a goal, um, look forward to doing that then. Already uh, get those thoughts in your mind that it's going to be a positive thing, that you're not going to fail. And once that date comes, and um, whether you haven't smoked that last cigarette out of that last pack, um, do it, throw it away, or whatever. But on that date that you set as a goal to stop, then just keep that in, in your mind that you did stop. And from there, to look at it, like I said, just day to day as that uh, a triumph, you know.